I'm going to demonstrate the budget analysis capability of VSS and to do that I'll open one of the standard example files that ships with VSS. In the browser I'm going to type in the keyword budget and it gives me a list of uh, related budget examples. I'll open the Rx budget example and just rearrange the windows. So let's take a look at the schematic. We can see that there's a single conversion here. There's a single mixer um, and local oscillator. If we zoom in a little, you can see some of the individual elements. We have a tone source, uh, some amplifier models with a number of behavioral parameters associated with them. The mixer, some final amplification stages at the output. If I run the simulation, You'll note that we have a number of graphs update live on the schematic, which is very useful for documentation purposes. Here we can see um, a couple of the results. Um, on the left is cumulative gain, and on the right is cumulative output IP3. Notice that the x-axis of these graphs are the actual components in the lineup. So it's shown us a view of the system element by element, and how the gain and the output IP3 vary component by component. Now one interesting thing we can do here is run a yield analysis um, to vary the tolerances on a number of the components and find a spread of how the game varies. We can take a look at the variable browser to see which elements have a tolerance associated with them. Clicking on the Use Statistics button shows me that these first few parameters of these various elements here, some of the amplifiers and mixers, have their gains and losses set to a value which can vary according to their tolerances. So if we now set up and run a yield analysis, this will vary all those components and show us the spread on the gain and output IP3. And as the simulation runs through the various iterations, you can see the spread of gain starting to build up and also the IP3 result. We'll now take a look at the effects of tuning the system. So I'm going to zoom in on this amplifier at the output of the chain. So we have parameters for, for gain, um, 1dB compression point and IP3. I'm going to make some of these tunable by clicking on the tuner element you see they're highlighted. So let's zoom back so we can see the graphs. I'm now going to bring up the, the tuner. I'm going to freeze the initial trace and look at the effects of tuning, for example, on gain can see the gain graph and also the IP3 graph updating as we run the tune and also tune in the IP3 value on the IP3 graph. This concludes the software demonstration. Thank you very much for watching.